Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting algebraic challenge from radical equations. Equation is x square plus 8x plus 14 equal to square root 6x square plus 48x plus 100. We have to find out real solutions. So let's get started. Straight away I will split 100 as 84 plus 16. So let me write the RHS 6x square plus 48x plus 84 plus 16. Why it is like that? Because I will take now 6 common from first 3 terms. So it would be x square plus 8x plus 14 once again. And left hand side is same x square plus 8x plus 14. Now you can easily see that our substitution is this one x square plus 8x plus 14. So let us write let x square plus 8x plus 14 equal to t. So our equation will become t is equal to square root 60 plus 16. Now I will take square both sides or squaring both sides will get t square is equal to 60 plus 16. Take all the term to one side. So t square minus 16 minus 16 equal to 0. We haven't solved or we haven't calculated domain of the equation. Once I will calculate the solution of this equation, then we will talk about which solution will be accepted and which would be rejected on the basis of domain. So at that time we will find out domain. Let's solve this quadratic equation first. t square minus 60 minus 16 equal to 0. t square minus 60 minus 16 equal to 0. Let's apply Sridharachar formula or quadratic formula minus b. So 6 plus minus under the root b square minus 6 square 36 minus 4ac. c is negative so plus 4 times 16 64 divided by 2a so 2. In next step you will write 6 plus minus square root 100 divided by 2. So it is coming out 6 plus minus 10 divided by 2. So with plus sign 16 over 2, minus sign minus 4 over 2. So we will be writing 8 and minus 2 as t value. Now remember our substitution was t was x square plus 8x plus 14. So I will write our solution once again x square plus 8x plus 14 equal to 8 and then we will frame the second quadratic x square plus 8x plus 14 equal to negative 2. So I can write the very first equation as x square plus 8x 14 minus 8 is 6 plus 6 equal to 0. This is first quadratic and I will consider minus 2 to the left then it will become x square plus 8x plus 16 equal to 0. So we are having two quadratic equation. We will solve one by one x square plus 8x plus 6 and plus 16. x square plus 8x plus 6 and plus 16. x square plus 8x plus 16 equal to 0. Let us solve both the equations one by one. Equation number 2 first. Let me write 1 and 2. 2 first. Left hand side if you will see it is one perfect square. No need to apply Shidrachar formula. It is x plus 4 whole square equal to 0. So we will write our solution straight away. Minus 4 with multiplicity 2 or minus 4 minus 4. Two solutions are here. Now we will solve this very first quadratic equation. 
लेट एस अप्लाई श्रीधराचार फॉर्मूला x विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस बी सो माइनस एट प्लस माइनस अंडर द रूट बी स्क्वायर सो सिक्सटी फोर माइनस फोर ए सी माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए टू माइनस एट प्लस माइनस सिक्सटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर फोर्टी विद ए स्क्वायर रूट डिवाइडेड बाई टू फोर्टी इज टेन टाइम्स फोर सो टू रूट टेन so let us write 2 square root 10 divided by 2 so now i will write minus 4 plus minus root 10 now here we are having four solutions x is equal to minus 4 plus root 10 x is equal to minus 4 minus root 10 and x is equal to minus 4 and minus 4 so four solutions are here now which solution we will accept and which we will reject let us find out that answer so i will consider domain let me write here domain of the equation domain will be right hand side we are having square root so it would be positive for real solutions so obviously this side would be always positive so we will apply this condition to find out our domain x square plus 8x plus 14 it should be positive so let me factorize if it is not factorizable then we will find out the root and then we will apply the condition let me write here x is equal to let's find out root minus b so minus 8 plus minus under the root b square 64 minus 4ac so 56 divided by 2a Two minus eight plus minus it is square root eight. Eight is four times two, so you will write two root two divided by two. So minus four plus minus root two. So let me write here values minus four plus root two and minus four minus root two. Now we know the value of root two. It is one point four one four. so once if we'll write that value then we'll be having minus 4 plus 1.414 so it would be here i will write minus 5.414 and first solution if you will consider plus then you will be writing minus 2.586 so now you can conclude one thing because of minus 5.414 is smaller so condition of domain would be x should be less than minus 5.414 and x should be greater than the bigger one the bigger number 2.586 that means the values the solution of our equation which is lying in between minus 5.414 And minus two point five eight six that would be rejected. So let me write our solution and condition both. So I will write x is greater than minus two point five eight six. X is less than minus five point four one four. This is our domain condition. Now let me write our solution. X was minus four minus four. and then two solutions minus 4 plus root 10 and minus 4 minus root 10 now if you want to check that value minus 4 plus root 10 so this value is coming out minus 8 point minus 0.838 and second value with square root 10 is 3.3 something 3.162 so once you will put that value then it will become minus 7.162 now you can see x should be either greater than minus 2.586 or x should be less than so this is less than value and see this is greater than value minus 2.586 so these two solutions are accepted and minus 4 is lying in between so these two will be rejected 
so our final and ultimate answer of this question is only two values we will accept that is minus 4 plus minus square root 10 i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care bye